Holly. This is Brian Jones from Laguna Beach. Yes, Brian. Hello, Brian. He's serenading me? Get off. He's probably snorting Ajax again. I figured as much. We get some of those. Get off. Hey, I know the problem you have, pal. Severe brain damage. And you got to be locked up immediately for your own safety and for the safety of, uh, of uh, the public in general. Next caller, you're on the air. Oh. Why do these mentally deranged people have to get through to me? You know, why aren't they in some padded cell that's with phones taken away from them? I hope your mother, I, I, I suppose you did have a mother or uh, have a mother of some kind, uh, I hope she washes your stupid mouth out with lies. Hello, Wally? Yes. This is Brian. I'm from Santa Ana. Okay. I was reading in the register today where they did an extensive study at Duke University on the glass eye. Yeah, well, you know, they say a lot of things in the register. Hello, nice caller. Hello, you're on the air. Caller, you're on the air. Hello? Wally? Yeah, who, who's this? This is Jeff from Fountain Valley. Jeff? Yeah. Have you ever called Wally before? Yeah. How old are you, Jeff? Sixteen. How old? Sixteen. Sixteen? Yeah. Tell me the truth, Jeff. How old are you really? Sixteen. Sixteen. Yes. You're not sixteen, Jeff. Do you know how old you are, Jeff? Yes. You're about eleven, aren't you? No. Yes, you are. Don't lie to Wally. Don't lie. Don't you know it's a sin to tell a lie to Wally or anybody? Why do you try to lie to Wally? I never lied to you. Why do you lie to me? Don't do that. Oh. Who's this? This is Marco. Hello, Michael. Yeah. You're on the air. Go ahead. Oh, I apologize. I'm sorry. Yeah, I was just wondering if you think that uh, Thrasher knows you're impotent. Oh, <laughs> Yo, boy, there he is. There he is. Same little pervert sitting in his sandbox saying, I think I'll call Wally and say something naughty. Does that get you all excited? Does that turn you on? Well, that ain't cute, buddy it, boy. That's going to, it certainly isn't. <laughs> Hello, you're on the air. Yeah, this is Michael from Santa Monica. Yes, Michael, go ahead. Ah, oh, get off. Don't waste my time. Don't you understand? We're only on a half an hour, you moron. Go stick your head in the water closet. Oh, you're on the air. Nice caller. Wally. Yes. Friday night, you and me, buddy. Beer drinking contest. McTaggart, be there. Are you Tickets crazy? Tickets now available for performances at these locations. No, I'm not going to be performing over there. Are you crazy? Me in a beer drinking contest? Why, you wouldn't get Wally, Mr. America, to indulge in such a horrifying thing? Don't make me laugh. Uh, no, no, I mean it. I'm serious. I would never do a thing like that. Wally in a beer drinking contest? Why, that's that's unpatriotic to even suggest. It's un-American. I want you. No, 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 you don't. Morgan from Los Alamitos. Yes, Richard. Hi, uh, I feel as you do. Uh, I'm in the, the same predicament as you, and that's in, uh, with regards to hair loss and impetus. You see, people like this little pipsqueak are so jealous of my beautiful, massive, uh, blonde locks. They are so jealous. You see, I'd love to see what this little squirmy idiot looks like in person. Wouldn't you love to see him? Can't you just tell from his voice how ugly he is? What a little spineless weasel he is. And he's so jealous of Wally. But I'm not going to get mad because I know who I am. I know what I look like, and I can tell what you look like. Get lost. Go hide in the closet. Don't scare your friends to death. Hide in the closet. Let's call her. In fact, I think he probably has been in the closet for a long time. Hello, let's call her. Hello, you're on the air. Hello, Wally Jeff. Maybe it's another Wallyism. Yes, go ahead. Hello, Wally. Yes, I want to comment on a recent interview with Fawn Hall in which she was asked, about her views on Ronald Reagan, and she replied, Wally's Lynch. All right, well, I, I'm glad that you pointed that out. The, uh, yes. This is Jim from Anaheim. Hello, Jim. First, I'd like to congratulate you and your wife Thank on you. having my baby. Ah, get off the show. Nice caller, hello, you're on. Wet nose, walking weenie roast. Yeah, goodbye. Don't ever bother me again, you little pimple-faced freak. John, do you really think we're all a bunch of numbskulls over here? Now I ask you how old you are, and you say, I'm 18, Wally. 
I'm 18. John, John, John. You won't be 18 for about 10 years. Maybe 11. Call me back then. I'll still be here. Call me 11 years from today, and we'll put you on the air. And don't say I haven't done anything for you. Next caller, you're on the air. Hi, Walt. <laughs> yep, grab that. Okay, mark that. That's an edit point right there. We had a stupid, moronic, filthy pervert who tried to get something over the air. Don't you know, you idiot, numbskull, dimwit jerk, that we're on tape, and I just take you off? Don't you understand that? But, but I'll tell you one thing, I will... Well, I'll tell you one thing I would love to do. I'd love to have you come down and say that to me face to face so I can uh, rearrange your ugly face. This is Don Kim from Anaheim? Yes, Don. And I'm a homosexual actor. Well, you sure sound like it. Boy, oh Trust boy. You nut with a ray gun just tried to kill me. <laughs> yeah, I don't doubt it. Well, now just... Thank you. Have a nice day. Just uh, prance on back to your boudoir and put some more eyeshadow on and, a, and an extra layer of lipstick, sweetheart. Next caller, you're on the air. Hello, Wally? Yes. Hi there, how are you doing? All right. Happy Monday to you, sir. Thank you. This is JJ Capan, you calling from Huntington Beach? Watch this one. Yes. How are you doing? All right. I just want to get your feelings real quickly. All right. I knew it, I knew it. Did, did I tell you? Did I tell you? Did I tell you, watch this? Because I can tell a pervert, I can tell a degenerate lame brain, like that. The quality of the voice comes right through to Wally's little ear. My ear has been trained from many years of broadcasting to pick up lunatic voices. The mere quality of the voice, I can tell almost instantaneously that you are an idiot, a jerk, a lame brain, a dimwit. And I knew it. Did I not tell you? Watch this one. I am always right. Next caller, hello, you're on the air. You're, you're out of here, dude. Yes, you certainly are. Hello? Wally? Yeah, who's this? I'm Miss Diane. Hello, Diane. Um, I'd like to know what you think of the British band Depeche Mode. Of uh, who? The British band Depeche Mode. Depeche Mode? Well, that sounds like something I had for dessert today. <laughs> <laughs> yes, a new dessert. Dupe I'll have some Depeche Mode, please, with a lot of mode on top and a little chocolate sauce. Depeche Mode. I've never heard Depeche Mode. Hello, you're on the air. You're, you're out of here, dude. Yes, you certainly are. Hello? Wally? Yeah, who's this? I'm Miss Diane. Hello, Diane. Um, I'd like to know what you think of the British band Depeche Mode. Of uh, who? The British band Depeche Mode. Depeche Mode? Well, that sounds like something I had for dessert today. <laughs> <laughs> yes, a new dessert. Dupe I'll have some Depeche Mode, please, with a lot of mode on top and a little chocolate sauce. Depeche Mode. I've never heard Depeche Mode. I don't have any real great desire to hear Depeche Mode. So I will pass. No, I'll ask Steve. Uh, what's your comment on Depeche Mode? Good, bad, mediocre, or what? Hey, fella, is that your face? Are you wearing a mask? Get out. So-so, says Steve. So I'll say so-so, according to Steve. Steve knows pretty much about those things. Hello, you're on the air. Hello, Wally. It's Jim from Norwalk. Hi. I hope you've had your Depeche Mode today. I had my... <laughs> yes, I, I had a, a giant helping of, of Depeche Mode with a little chocolate sauce on top, and it was just delicious. My favorite dessert, Depeche Mode with chocolate sauce and a little uh, whipped cream and cherry on top. Let's call her. Hello, you're on the air. Did you get... Pardon? Did you oh, get off. Obviously, you never have had anything in your entire lifetime and never will. I have news for you, Pally. You might as well become a monk. Go to a monastery. You're never going to have nothing, ever. Right, right, Jeffy? We can tell your voice is so... Ugh. If your face is as ugly as your voice, you really have a problem. Well, you're on the air. You are fine. Don't call me and serenade me, you stupid twerp. Best caller, hello, you're on the air. Wally. Yes. What kind of buds you got for sale? Get off. You. Now, our national anthem. Not yet. <laughs> Not yet. Hello, next caller, you're on the air. Go ahead. Hello. Hey, Wally, this is... Oh. What? Next caller, hello. From Los Alamitos. Yes, Raymond. Green Pickers is the place to be. Oh! 
Okay, well... What in the name of sanity is going on? Let me tell you this. Don't ever, ever entertain the thought of going into show business. Go back to your job cleaning the latrines at your school. That's what you're best suited for. Hello, Miss Crawley, you're on the air. Hello, Wally? Yes. Derek? Eric, yes. Um, I'd just like to ask you what you think about... I knew it, I knew it, I knew it. The minute they go, um, you know they are little, uh, moronic, brain-damaged, adolescent idiots. Have you ever heard a kid say, oh, Wally, um, that's always the cue, always the cue that they are numbskulls. So, friend, the way it goes, you've got a heck of a boring life ahead of you. Let's go to the next caller. Hello, you're on the air. How are you doing, West Hollywood Wally? Yeah, nice to hear from you. Hey, how dare... Don't you ever call me West... Wait a minute, I got... How dare you call me West Hollywood Wally, you pervert? Pervert? That's hey, a new... Pal, one thing you don't do is talk back to Wally. Now you're out of here! <laughs> pervert. That's a new way of pronouncing this word. Don't bother me. You are a pervert. Hello, Hello, Wally? Yes. This is Will in Los Angeles. Yes, Will. I just want to say I'm looking forward to the birth of your child. Well, I thank you very much for that. Thank you so much. Uh, uh, and for those of you who didn't, didn't know, uh, Janice and I will be looking forward in July to a little one, a little Wally or whatever, or Wallet or whatever <laughs> in July. Hello, you're on the air. Hello? Yes. Hi, this is Lisa from Orange County. Hello, Lisa. Hi. Um, yeah, I have a question to ask you, but first, um, I just want to put an end to this stupid rumor that you wear a toupee. Because everybody knows that you do not wear a toupee. That That's you wear right. a full look, wig. Look, look, look. Can't you see, you stupid little bimbo? This beautiful hair is my own. <laughs> Would you move in for a close-up of my hair, Mikey? I'm going to hold my hair down. And, and, and let's, let's get this over once and for all. Give me a close-up of Wally's hair. Okay, there we go. Now, there it is. See the scalp in there? Do you see the scalp? Do you see it? That's Wally's hair right there. Now, let's settle this once and for all. Okay, push back now. That's it. Now, Mikey, you tell me. Isn't that my hair? Yeah, that's now, I don't want any more phone calls. You had a close-up of my scalp. I'm sick and tired of this. Just because you're jealous of my beautiful hair, don't bug me about it. I'll be right back. Now, hello, next caller, you're on the air. Hello, Wally. Who's this? This is Mike from Orange. Yes, Mike. Yeah, and I'd like to talk to you about a real left-wing liberal lunatic named Miss Ovidia. And do you named know, who? Miss Ovidia. She's my English... I don't... That, we, you're not going to slander your English teacher on my program. How do well, I know? Get off my show, you little pimple-faced pervert. <laughs> Totally. Yeah, totally. On a hand from Huntington Beach. Okay, Rob, go ahead. Yes, I agree with your recent commentary on Gaddafi. Yeah. Being that his number one problem was neglecting your impotence. Yeah. Uh, will you? Will you get off my back, you idiot? Look, that's your number one problem, and your second problem is is you're a dim-witted idiot. Now, what in the heck is the matter with you people? Have you got nothing better to do than make idiots of yourselves? Or, hello, you're on the air. Hello. Hello, I just thought... Hello, who's this? Huh? Excuse me? Who is this? Elizabeth. I like Hello, Elizabeth. Hi. What's on your mind today? Uh, yeah, oh, my name's Elizabeth. Yeah, I like... You're on the air, Elizabeth. I tell you that you're very mean for yelling at that little boy like you did the other day, you know. I, I, I'm very mean because of what? Pervert. I'm very mean? You're saying that I'm mean? How can you possibly say that I mean, you stupid? What in the name of Femme Femme is going on? She says I mean because I take people off the air. Why, I always take people like you off the air. If I don't like you, you don't get on the air. It's as simple as that. That's the way Wally plays the game. Right? Right. Uh-oh, Miss Huston. And I can't believe you and the other people trying to make Oliver North be a, sound like he's a hero or something. And you don't think he is? No. Why not? Because. he would. Oh, because. Well, that's a big reason. Get off. <laughs> because. Yeah, because. Get off, moron. Oliver, what have you ever done for your country uh, lately besides sit there and pick your nose? I, I mean, what have you done, for heaven's sake? Oliver North is a marine hero with a chest full of medals. 
He's been serving his country well, and when he was trying to help the freedom fighters in Nicaragua, he was doing it because he was serving his country. That's what we have to do. We have to try to prevent the Soviet Union from taking over all of Central America. You obviously have no intelligence, and don't ever call me again. Hello? Hello? Yes, go ahead. Yeah, I want, I want to ask Wally about his um, radio show. Go ahead. Yeah, Wally? Yes. Go ahead, you're on the air. Don't, don't listen to your television. We're on tape delay. Jason from Rauto? Yes. Oh, jeez. Of all the jerks in the world, it had to be you. Crawl back under your bed and stay there. Yeah. First time. Well, thank you for calling. Okay, I was calling about your impotence. Uh, you know, it's really so sad. It's really so sad that you people are so ridiculous. That you waste such valuable time on this fantastic intellectual show, pervert. Hello, you're on the air. Hello. Hello, Wally? Yes. You know, you're never going to get away saying something filthy on this program. Don't even try. From Brea. Hello, Mark. What do you think about... <coughs> well, I think you're a slob, uh, for one. Hello, you're on the air. Hello. Hello? Yeah, who's this? It's Ryan Bell. Who? Ryan Bell. What? How old are you? I'm 17. 17? Yeah. No, you're not. I you're, know, that's you're nine years old. You're nine years old going on seven. Now, one thing you must always learn, my little friend, never lie to Uncle Wally. Because Uncle Wally knows when you're lying. Uncle Wally is making a list, and he's checking it twice. He's going to find out who's naughty and nice. And you, obviously, are a nitwit! Call me back in five years when you get to be a teenager. Seven. Here. Hello. Hello? Yeah, who's this? It's Ronan Bell. Who? Ronan Bell. What? How old are you? I'm 17. 17? Yeah. No, you're not. I you're know, you're nine years old. You're nine years old going on seven. Now, one thing you must always learn, my little friend, never lie to Uncle Wally. Because Uncle Wally knows when you're lying. Uncle Wally is making a list, and he's checking it twice. He's going to find out who's naughty and nice. And you, obviously, are a nitwit! Call me back in five years when you get to be a teenager. Seventeen. Hi, Wally, I'm seventeen. Oh, boy. Spare me. Spare me. Hello, you're on the air. Hello, Wally, this is Don from Anaheim, and you're two pace falling off. Oh, come on, I'm a one decent caller here. Hello, you're on the air. Hello, Wally. Yes. How you doing there, buddy? Fine, get off of here. <laughs> Hello, next caller, you're on the air. Only one question per person. Hello, you're on the air. Hello, you're on the air. Oh, this is really dumb. I wish you would just stop. We have four minutes to go, and you're going to sweat it out. If I have to sweat it out, you've got to sweat it out. We are being watched. I think so. Next caller, you're on the air. Hello, Wally? Yes. You know what? Hey, hey, you little adolescent idiot. I dare you to come down here and say that to my face. You know, you, you idiot, pervert, little pimple-faced freaks are so brave on the telephone, you wouldn't dare say that to my face, would you? Of course not. They're cowering behind their little telephones. It's easy to be macho. It's easy to say filthy things over the phone, you you cowardly freak. Let's go to the next caller. You're on the air. Wally? Yes. Hi, this is Captain Serial Sock. And I saw um ears playing with himself. Get off. Get off. I can I can tell you. Next caller, hello, you're on the air. Is this Wally George? Who yeah, who's this? My name's Ted. How are you doing? Pretty good, Ted. Yeah, um, I just uh, for one I am uh, a big fan of yours and the uh, Victory Toilet Paper. Uh, uh, well, thank you very much, and I'm sure you use a lot of it. Hello? Yes, Wally? Yes, go ahead. You're on the air. I'm still alive. This is Joe Pine! How much time we got? How much One more call. Go ahead. One minute. Hello, you're on the air. Hello? Yes, go ahead. You're on the air. Go ahead, fast. Um, Wally, where's the wig? Oh. Well... 
Uh, obviously, all the mental cases are loose today. I'm not going to take any more calls. To heck with you. I, I hope you all wind up in, in, in a padded cell where you all belong, wasting my time. <laughs> yes. <laughs> there goes my phone. I, I know that ring anywhere. Let's go to our first caller. Hello, you're on the air. Hi, Wally. This is Larry from Santa Ana. Hello, Larry. Yeah, I have a couple of questions in regards to the traffic problem that's arising in Orange County. All right. Okay, firstly, you're bald, and secondly... Oh, get off. Get off my show, you perverted pinko. Don't bother me. Don't you understand? This is an important program. Hello, you're on the air. Hi, Wally George. Yes, who's this? This is Nick Pastis from Huntington Beach. What's on your mind today, I hope? Yeah, I want to comment on Duke Major not running for re-election. What do you think about it? Well, I think that the Duke, like most other great Republicans, realize you're impotent. Yeah, get off. Get on! Don't! Don't! Bother me! But speaking of Duke Majin... Hello, you're on the air. Yeah, Wally, this is Bob from Tustin. Hello, Bob. Hey, listen, I've been, I've been listening to you for God, probably four or five years. I think your show's really great. But, Thank you. Uh, but you're a bonehead, you know that? You're a real bonehead. Why do you say that? Because you are. Just, the, you know, you, uh, the, the way you carry on, Wally, you're a bonehead. Well, if you don't like it, you you're stupid... Bonehead, hey, Bob. hold on! Hold on, you moron! Don't you dare call Wally a bonehead, you stupid, idiotic pervert. I'm the only person who calls names on this show, you idiotic nut. What else can I say? Jerk? Raunchy pervert? I'm the only one that you dare to call Mr. America a bonehead? Don't you ever call me again. You're banished from this program. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. with a capital T. You got it? That's you. Engrave that on your forehead, because that's what you are. Now, hello, you're on the air. Yes, Wally. Yeah, who's this? Yes, this is Lamont from Hollywood. Yes, Lamont. I have two questions. Yes. Yes, w one question is, uh, what do you think of Prince concert? And, um, girl, who does your hair? Uh, get off my show, Lamont. I, I do my own hair, sweetheart. Who else could make it look so so lovely? What do I think of the Prince concert? Well, I didn't go to the Prince concert. You won't find me prancing in to see Prince. Uh, the only thing I can remember of Prince is, is watching him in some video where he was prancing around the stage in his silk underpants. That's all I needed, and I haven't watched him since. Oh, boy. Hello, Wally? Yes. Hi there. This is Matt Powell. Uh, my... First time I met you was at the Republican Victory Party. I don't know. Oh, at the Century Plaza Hotel. Yeah. Yes, indeed. I don't know if you remember me. You had a lot of people around you. Yeah, well, hey, I, I was very, uh, very pleased with the great reception we got over there. What's on your mind today? Well, I just want to say congrats, first of all, to Mr. George Bush. Yeah, how about that? That's wonderful. He's going to be a great president. It's going to be a great eight, eight years. Uh, eight years of the Reagan Revolution continuing. That's right. And second of, of an equal as important is... is Janice's pregnancy. I want to congratulate Janice and her great husband. Well, thank Don't you very much. Well, thank you. Get off. Thank you very much, I guess. A almost. Yes, well, we are, are very thrilled uh, by July. You, you know, they're, they're saying that, that it's very possible that uh, our, our, newly, our new arrival to be might be born. Can you get this, gang? Might be born on the 4th of July. What about that, Jeff? If that's the case and it's a boy, we're going to call it Yankee Doodle George. Some <laughs> costume nut with a ray gun just tried to kill me. Uh, I hope he gets to I hope he does it, Mike. <laughs> Hi, Wally. Yes. Hi, this is Larry Heller from Cyprus. Yes. Okay, the, now I'm having a problem with this uh, liberal media. The problem I have is that they're neglecting the issues. They're neglecting to talk about your empathy. Yes, absolutely. Who are these idiots who are jamming my lines when I have important people who are trying to ask me important things. Now, I want to find out who these people are. I'm going to track them down. And I'm going to punch them all out individually. Uh, sorry about that. Oh. If you had a big helping of Depeche Mode today. Yes, I have. <laughs> yeah, I, I had Depeche Mode for dessert today uh, with some chocolate sauce. It was wonderful. Hello, you're on the air. Uh, yes. Are you Sammy Davis Jr. with the... Uh, let's go to the next caller. Hello, you're on the air. Next caller, you're on the air. Hello, Wally. This is Jason from Anaheim. Yes, Jason. Have you looked at the news? ABC just said Dukakis won. Oh, get off. <laughs>
You are such a little imbecile. Go back and look at the news, pal. And by the speaking of news, I have news for you. Your brain is dead. Oh, this is John calling from Los Angeles. Yes, John. Well, first of all, I just want to congratulate you and Janice. Thank you very much. I hear she's having my baby. Oh, get off my show. Would you believe that? You know, you are the biggest turkey of the day. I have news for you, and I know what you're stuffed with. I wish I could say it over the air. Hello, are you there? Yes, I'm here. This is Robbie from L.A. Yes, Robbie, what's on your mind today? Did you know that September 8, 1664, 300 British troops seized New Newfoundland from the Dutch, who yield peacefully Charles II granted province of New Netherland and city of New Amsterdam to brother Duke of York, both renamed New York. The Dutch ca recaptured the colony August 9, 1673, but ceded it to Britain November 10, 1674. Get off! Get off my show! Who do you think you are? Some kind of intellectual? Don't try to prove yourself to us. Hello, Mr. Toupe. I'd like that. Well, thanks for your call, you stupid nitwit. Hello, next caller. You're on the air. How's that hearing aid? Jeez. <laughs> Boy, I'll tell you, you, you guys are riots out there. We're all just holding our, our sides in hysteria. Next caller. You're on the air. Hello, Wally. Yes. Your eye pop. Uh, hello, next caller. You're on the air. Yeah, Wally? Yes. Oh, I do the New York Times. I was wondering, do you know a six-letter word for him? Will you... Hey, I can't understand a word you're saying. What in the world? Did you put your speech on, on, on fast forward or something? Okay, let's clear all of these nitwits off the, off the phones, and we'll come right back. Stay where you are. Hello? Hello, Wally. This yeah. is Chris from Anaheim. Hello, Chris. And we... Hello, Wally. This yeah. is Chris from Anaheim. Hello, Chris. And will you please do me a favor? Just tug on your hair. Will you stop on this hair business? It's getting so boring. Yes, you're on the air. Go ahead. Hello, Wally? Yeah. Hi, this is Adrian from Long Beach. Yes. How are you doing? All right. Um, did anyone tell you that you look like... Well, so will you get off? Giggling into his uh, pablum, obviously. It's runny and slimy and... Ah! It's gross. Very gross. Tell Mommy it's diaper changing time and tell her to put one of those diapers, those diapers over your stupid, ugly face. Let's call her. Hello, you're on the air. Good evening. Good afternoon. This is Wally. Yeah. I'd... Hello. Hello. I'd like to speak to Wally George. Oh, what do you want to talk to Wally about? Uh, this is James Brown from Long Beach. Yes, James. <laughs> Get up, no static. <laughs> Get up. <laughs> Did you hear that, folks? Did you hear that? There are people like that walking the streets of Los Angeles. Walking the streets. When we know they all should be in padded cells, but they're walking the street, these mental cases, calling me. Can you imagine? What have I done to deserve this? Hello, you're on the air. Hello. Hello, Wally. Yes. Hi, this is Mike Doyle from Costa Mesa. Yes, Mike. Yeah, the part that really bothers me the most about Madonna's video is when she kisses Re Well, let me tell you something. What, what, what bothers me, number one, is you, because you're nothing but a twit. But since you, you brought up the Madonna video... Now, hold on, you moron. Hey, you want to say something like that to me? Why don't you have the guts to come down and say it to me in person, you spineless little wimp? You haven't got the guts, have you? You wouldn't dare face me and, and take me on eyeball to eyeball. And you know why? Because you are a miserable, little, wimpy, mama's boy coward. Now, come on down and say that to me, but you won't. I know you're kind. You, you idiots are so brave when you can hide behind a telephone. Oh, you're so brave. And by the way, pal, I think you just wet your diapers. Run to mommy. Quickly. I know you can't change your own. Next caller. Hello, you're on the air. Hello. Hello. Yeah, who's this? This is Jason. What's on your mind, Jason? Um, i like to know. Go ahead, Jason. We're listening to you. i like to know. Well, I think you're stuck. Oh, boy. This is election day. Will you get yourselves together and don't listen on the television set? We're on 10-second delay. Listen on the phone, you nitwits. Wait a minute. I don't want to be serenaded, you little idiot. The guy calls me on the phone and serenades me. Get out of here. Next caller, you're on the air. 
Hello, Wally. Yes. This is Brett from Santa Monica, and I just like to say that compared to you, Mormon yeah, thank you. It, oh, wait a minute. I, I think he said something, something good. What, what was that again? I just like to say that compared to you, Morton Downey is God. Oh, no. I, no why did I, I let him come back and say that again? Compared to me, Morton Downey is God. Hello, Wally. Who's this? Uh, this is Ken Newton from Irvine. Yes, Ken. Yeah, uh, thank you. Get off. You see, I, I, I knew it the minute I heard your stupid voice. You are nothing but a first-class idiot numbskull. See that? See that? That word? Now, you probably can't read, so I'll tell you what it says. It says, idiot. And that means you. Have you got that now? Thank you. Okay. Hello? Hello? Yeah, who's this? This is Rhonda. Rhonda? Okay. You're on the air, Rhonda. Don't listen to your, to your television. We're on 10-second tape delay, okay? Okay. You're on the air. Go ahead. Okay. The same twit or nerd help keep your dentures oh, in your mouth. Oh, 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 oh. Get off. Hey, Rhonda, I, I have something especially for you, Rhonda. Rhonda, run to your television set now, and I'm going to show you exactly what you are, Rhonda, what you are now, what you always have been, and what you always will be. Bippo. You got it, Rhonda? Take a little break and come right back. Stay where you are. Yes, caller, you're on the air. Hello? Yeah, Wally. Yes. How you doing? Listen, you got ugly all over. All right. Goodbye. Goodbye. Have a one. Uh, probably uh, another bad loser Dukakis voter. Yes, John. And your baby's joke. Get off the show. Don't try to be smart with me. We're in control here, you nitwit. Don't you understand? You can't get through. I have a little button under my left foot. I press a button and you're gone. See how, how fast you were gone? Don't try to get through. We have the power. Yeah, do you think the Iranians are also going to blow your wig off? Uh, <laughs> what a pitiful excuse for a man you are. I take it you are a man. I'm not quite sure, but if you are, you're a pitiful excuse for one. Thanks for calling anyway. Have a nice day. Next caller, hello, you're on the air. Good Friday, Wally. Bill Simmons from Pomona. Yes? Yeah, I hope you can help me out because these liberals are driving me crazy. Yeah, they're driving me crazy, too. It, it's about your impotence. Yeah, oh, jeez. <laughs> Yeah, Wally? Yes. Uh. Well, I'll tell you, you really are a, a dirty swine, aren't you? What, boy, you, your mother must be so embarrassed and ashamed and sickened that she had an idiot like you for a quote-unquote son. Let's call her, you're on the air. Hello, you're on the air. Yeah, Wally. Yes. How you doing? Pretty good. Uh, what do you think about Yasser Arafat's running for office? <laughs> <laughs> You hear him laughing at himself? He thought he was hilarious. You're nothing but a dimwit. You, that wasn't funny. Did you think you were funny? You're not. If you want a big laugh, look in the mirror. Holding, uh, this is Larry. I'm holding to make a comment to uh, Wally George. You, you go ahead. You're on the air. Oh, okay. Yeah, my, my comment is Wally George. I want to get your feeling. Uh, grab that guy. Grab him. We got a pervert. Boy, you. Boy, I, I, I wish I could have you over here right here in the studio, so I could pour some Ajax down your stupid mouth. Hello? Uh, Wally. Yeah, who's this? Yeah, uh, this is Dave. Yes, Dave, what's on your mind today? Uh, yeah, I was wondering, um, if you thought you were, uh, great a communist as I do. You want, you're asking me if I'm a communist? You are a communist. Oh, really? Why do you say that, nitwit? Because you are. Uh-huh. <laughs> you know... At least you could have come up with something a little bit more intelligent than that. A little bit. What a complete numbskull. The one thing everybody knows Wally has been and always will be is Mr. America. There's nobody more anti-communist than me, you stupid numbskull twerp. I have been standing up for America for 20 years on radio and television. What? What flag do you think I have behind me, nitwit? Boy, it really, I almost said something. <laughs> Ticks me off. Best caller, you're on the air. Hello? Hello, Wally? Yes. Your eye fell out. Hello, Wally. This is Private First Class Trout. Yes, sir. And I wanted to call and console you that impotence is nothing to be ashamed oh, of. Oh, get off my show. 
You're a private... Where can I buy some fish? Over at that guy's house. He smells like fish. I can smell it all the way over here. Out there. Hello, you're... You see, I was stalling as long as I could because I have a feeling there's a lot of idiots out there. Right. Hello, hello, you're on the air. Hello? Scott from Redondo Beach. Hello, Scott. Regarding these idiot liberals that keep calling you with their idiotic comments, yeah. why, won't, why shouldn't you, you just ignore them, go on to the next call, don't waste your time because that's all they want to do is see you have them get your goat and uh, see yeah, you... React to this. Well, you know, as a matter of fact, you're getting my go too. Get off my... Don't tell me how to run my show. Now he's telling you what to do. Hey, I'll, I'll do it the way I want to do it. I'm not going to just sit here and then let these idiots uh, say whatever they want without me getting upset. I mean, I like to get upset with these idiots. I like to call them nitwits when they are nitwits. Because they are nitwits. And if I want to waste my time, that's my prerogative. And if you don't know what that means, look it up in the dictionary. Hi, this is Jason from Anaheim. Yes. I want to... I heard you get a... Oh, so that, get off. Get off. Next caller, hello, you're on the air. Next caller, hello, you're on the air. Hello, uh, Wally, this is Roger from Huntington Beach. Yes, on the air. Hello, uh, Wally, this is Roger from Huntington Beach. Yes, Roger. I just wanted to make a quick comment about your commentary. All right. Shut up! Well, that, that, that was a very quick comment. Hello, Wally. Yes. This is Marcelo from Huntington Beach. Okay, go ahead, Marcelo. And I just wanted to say that impotence is not... Uh, will you get off my line? Oh. <laughs> Speaking of impotence, I'm sure that's something that, that you're going to have to worry about for the rest of your life. I can tell by your sweet little voice that you're probably calling from West Hollywood. I'm Ron from Laguna Beach. Hello, Ron. And I think you're a little mean. You think I'm a little mean? Well, I think you're a little idiotic. You don't ever call Wally mean. I have never been mean in my entire life, you stupid idiot. When have you ever seen me be mean to anybody? Right, Steve? I'm the nicest guy who you ever saw on television. I'm Mr. Nice Guy. You should see me when I really get mad. Next caller. Hello? Hello? Hi, Wally. Who's this? This is, um, Roberta. Hello, Roberta. What's on your mind today? Um, I think your earwax is stuck to your dick. Oh, uh, well, you see what... At, at least once a day, we get one of these. Boy, I'm sure glad I'm not married to you, you stupid bimbo. Hello, nice caller. You're on the air. Hi, Wally. Paul from L.A. Yes, Paul. What's on your mind today? Hi, uh, I just want to see me, Will, and Alex hate you. I'll buy them to pay. Well, get three... the message. Yeah. Look, just don't make any trouble, huh? Three idiots in a row. Wouldn't you know it, folks? Wouldn't you know it? Three in a row! Let's go for... Let's try for one sane person. Paul, you're on the air. Hello? Hello, you're on the air. Oh, uh, hello, Wally. Yes. This is Bruce Belcher from Huntington Beach. Yes, Bruce. And, uh, impotence can be cured. Oh, will you get... Hey, fella, is that your face? Are you wearing a mask? It's gotta be a mask. Cold. And nobody could be as ugly as that idiot. Don't call me anymore. You're banned from this program. I order you not to call this show. From now on, you are designated to call Michael Jackson on KABC. He deserves you. Hello? Wally? Yeah, who's this? Um, this is Justin Dexter from Irvine. Hello, Justin. <laughs> Uh, <clears throat> yeah, clear your throat and tell what's on your mind. Uh, first, I'd like to say that poster should be Wally is the worst, and you're an idiot. You're a uh, get off my show, you stupid little jerk. Get off. Well, Wally. Yes. I want to know what Dukakis is doing under your desk. Uh, well, I'll tell you, uh, Dukakis uh, is another idiotic moron like you. I'm sure that, that you voted for him, <laughs> didn't you? But he lost. And you're going to lose for the entire remainder of your life because you are a big number L loser. Hello, you're on the air. How are you doing, Wally? Who's this? This is uh, Rick from Buena Park. All right, Rick, go ahead. Um, what do you think of Disneyland being open for Oriental tourists from Kamikaze Land? <laughs> Another brain damaged moron. But speaking of uh, Disneyland, hello, you're on the air. Hey, Wally, I want to know why you keep wimping out of my... Oh, get off, challenges. get off my show. Will you stop bothering me? You're giving me... Ugh, hurt me. No, hurt him. You're giving me a, a, 
a chronic headache, you stupid moron. Hello, you're on the air. Yeah, Wally, this is uh, Mike Hoffman from Tustin. Yes, Mike. And I think you were on Channel 7, you and it last one month. Uh, what's that? I think if you were on Channel 7, you and it last one month. I wouldn't go on that crazy station. I mean, I wouldn't. You know, pal, hey, hey, that's probably Morton's son. <laughs> I wouldn't doubt it. I mean, he, the, the, the guy is really uh, in trouble. So he has his son call me. Sounded like, like Morton Jr. But, uh, hey, Pally, remember, Wally has been on this station for six years. And Morton can't stay on a station for six months. Need I say more? I don't think so. Hi, this is uh, Mark from L.A. Yes, Mark. Hi, uh, I have a question concerning your Wednesday's commentary. Yes. Uh, no, wait, actually, actually, I want to talk to you about, yeah, gangs. Gangs, gangs. okay. Yeah, no, wait a minute. Actually, let me talk to you about... Make up your mind and then call me back, you dimwit. We'll take a little break and come right back. Stay where you are, stupid idiot. Let's call her. You're on the air. Oh, my, it's my phone ringing. I, I better answer it. It might be for me. Hello? Hello? Hi, Wally? Yeah, who's this? Hi, Paul from Los Angeles. Yes, Paul. Yeah, um, I didn't know you were capable of having a child. Oh, boy, you stupid moron. Don't you understand? We're trying to conduct a, a, a legitimate program here, you idiots. Now, I want a decent caller here. Now, let's hope this is someone who has some brain. Hello, you're on the air. Yeah. Go ahead, you're on the air. Okay. Hello? Hello? Yes. Hello, Wally? Yes. Yes, yes, talk to me. Yeah, how you doing? Fine, goodbye. Boy, oh boy. How you doing? Pretty good, dude. How are you doing? Don't listen to your television set. Listen to me on the, on the phone. Hello, you're on the air. Hello, go ahead. Hello? What kind of imbeciles are listening here? Let's call the next caller. Hello, you're on the air. Hello, Wally? Yes. Hi, this is Johnny from... Huntington Beach. Thank goodness somebody has the intelligence to know that we're on tape delay. Now go ahead. That's right. I just wanted to say that don't be ashamed of your impotence. Oh, okay. Oh. <laughs> you know, sometimes, sometimes I would love to get all of these people down here all in a row, and you'd be amazed what I would love to do to them. Next caller. Hello, you're on the air. If murder was legal. Next caller, you're on the air. Yes, Waldo, you chicken leg surfer. Get off, you jerko. Jerko. Next caller, hello, you're on the air. Hello. And to get nasty on the air, and we don't allow that, do we? We're going to wash your mouth out with lie. Next caller, you're on the air. Hi, it's Steve from Dota Beach. Yes, Steve. <laughs> well, the same to you, you stupid little nitwit. <laughs> They're coming for you any moment now. The straitjacket is on its way. Bring me my pendulum, kiddies. I feel like swinging. Yeah. Oh, you're on the air. Hi. Who's this? This is John from Irvine. Hello, John. And I'd like to ask you a question on your on the Electoral College. But first, I'd like to compliment you on your tie and your... Thank you very, very much. And... And... Thank you very much for calling, you stupid moron. Crawl, <gasps> crawl back into your cage. It's almost feeding time. That was pretty good. Next caller, you're on the air. Hello. Hello, Wally? Yes. Hello? Yeah, go ahead. I'm sorry if your wife is listening. Yeah, thank you very much for calling. Yeah, thanks for calling. <laughs> Next caller, hello, you're on the air. Hi, Wally. This is Jody Ernst at Downey. Hello, Jody. Downey? Don't say Downey on this program. You're out of here. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. Go ahead, Jody. Well, I'm socially appalled at uh, Sherman Block's insensitive and uncaring attitude on hiring homosexuals like myself. <laughs> yeah, well, I, I don't doubt that. I, I don't doubt that at all. Did you notice that little homosexual giggle that he gave us at the end of that call? Well, have a nice, have a nice time with all your, of your little friends back in West Hollyweird. I know you're going to have a wonderful time tonight. <laughs> Sounded like someone was blowing in his ear. Let's call you. You're on the air. Hello. Hello. Hey, who's this? Speak to Wally George, please. What about? 
Um, this is Private Singleton from Touchdown Marine Base. Yeah, Private, you're talking to Wally. Oh, hello, sir. My question is, I, well, I'd like to talk to you. Here at the Marine Base, we have a, a theory of why the uh, planes were having somewhat of a dogfight prior to the actual shooting, why the, the hit-and-run game was started. Okay, go ahead. Um, it was due to your impotence. Uh, yeah, so why, why, why did I say go ahead? I should have recognized that voice. Next caller, hello, you're on the air. Hello, Wally. Yeah. I just want to say you're... Get off, you stupid, ignorant, moronic imbecile. Next caller, hello, you're on the air. Hello. Hey, Wally. Yeah, who's this? This is Jean Anthony. How much? Well, you know these days. Yeah, well, thank you. Hey, when you grow up in about 20 years, why don't you give Wally a call? This guy sounds like he must be about five. I mean, it, if he's five, you know, it surprises me. Hey, your diaper is all wet. Go run to mommy, quick. Hello, you're on the air. Hello. Hello. Yeah, who's this? What's up? This is Dave. Well, what do you say, Dave? What's up with you? Uh, nothing. I want to know if you dress yourself in the dark. Pimp. <laughs> he doesn't like my clothes. Well, I think these are quite charming. They wear these in Las Vegas all the time. You know, the dark uh, shirt and the white tie. It's quite popular in Vegas. Claudia, do you think this is all right? I think he was smashing. Claudia said it's quite smashing. Yes, I think so. Thank you, Claudia. Uh, hello, next caller, you're probably just jealous. Next caller, hello, you're on the air. Hi, Wally, this is Eric Hayes from Santa Ana. Hello, Eric. I just wanted to ask you a question about Mikhail Gorbachev. Okay. Um, don't you think when he came over, that was just a ploy to expose your empire? Uh, I, I, <laughs> I think when he came over here, we all treated him. Yeah, my phone's ringing. I, I can hear yeah. it. It's one of those silent, thank you, one of those silent rings. Hello, first caller. Hello, you're on the air. Go ahead. Hi, Wally. This is Felice from Santa Ana. Happy Monday to you. Happy Monday, Wally. How What's you doing? What's on your mind today? Um, I wanted to ask you, what do you think President-elect Bush will do about your impotence? Oh, get off my show. I know what President-elect Bush is going to do about you and people like you. He's going to lock you up in mental institutions for the rest of your lives. That's what, for the good of America. Bye-bye. Have a nice trip. Hello. Hello, Wally? Yes. Hi, Pete Petro from Orange. Yes, sir. Yeah, I wanted to comment on the positioning of your glass eye. Uh, thank you very much for your call. It, it was awfully nice hearing from you. Here's your badge of honor of the day. Hi, right, Wally. Um, I'd like to ask you why you're so buff and you're so rad and you're so awesome when you got that albino toupee. I don't know what you said. I don't care what you said. Hello, Hello Wally. Yeah, you're on the air. Oh, hi. Um, I just wanted to say that I agree with what you were saying the other day about John F. Kennedy getting shot and with that being a conspiracy because on all the films being shown, you can clearly see on the grassy knoll there's Joe Pye. Oh, get off. Get off. Get off, you stupid moron. Uh, you made s some sense up until then, but uh, uh, let me try to make some sense out of your nonsensical uh, uh, call about the very first part. Kurt, what do you think of my cool glasses? What do I think about cool glasses? My cool glasses, the ones I'm wearing right now. They're hot. I knew you'd like them. Okay, so what's on your mind today? Well, I was just wondering, I had a question for you. Yeah? Where did you get your rug? Oh! Now I have the chance. Now I have the chance. Now I have the chance to use something green. This is for you on St. Patrick's Day. You old moron. Rug. Wally's beautiful hair. They're so jealous. They're so... Don't old. you talk back to me. That's right. Don't you dare. Next caller. Hello, you're on the air. Hello, I'd like to speak to Wally George. Jeff Bender? Yeah, Jeff, go ahead. You're on the air. Yeah, hello, Mr. George. Um, Wally, Mr. Wally George. Call me Wally. It's all right. Okay. Yeah, I'd like to speak to you about uh, Tuesday's comments. Well, no, it's not actually Tuesday. It was Monday's commentary, which was uh, actually actually taped for Friday. Friday. Yes. Um, th th what I'd like to ask you about that is about the public school. No, no. I... Well, when you no, figure no, out I what mean, you want to ask what me. What I mean is, well. Never mind, Jim. Impotence. I know what you mean. You're out of your, your skull when you get your your thoughts together in, in a couple of years, call me back. Wally. Yes. Mark from Brea. All right, Mark. Are you? Don't bother me. Let's go. Let's erase that, uh, that one little word off of there. Listen. 
You know, you people who try to call up and insult me, Mr. America, you are such spineless little wimps. If you want to call me names, call up and make an appointment and meet me face to face, and I bet you haven't got the guts to meet me eyeball to eyeball and say things like that to me. You're such little spineless idiots. You're so brave behind a telephone. You meet me face to face, you would wither and crumble and die out of fear. I know you idiots. Let's call her. Hello, you're on the air. Hello, Wally. Who's this? I'd like to say hi to Kenneth and Laura Mee. You have just become a fatality. We're never going to hear from that little twit ever again. Do I have twit here? Hold on. Yes, I do. Hey, hey, little one. This is you. This is you, and you always will be, always have been. Let's go to the phones. Hello, you're on the air. Hello? Yeah, there, there goes the phone. I, I, I think somebody better answer it. Hello? Yeah, it's ringing. Yes. Okay. Let's answer the phone. It, it might be for me. Hello? Hello, Wally? Yeah, who's this? This is Sid. I'm from Santa Ana. Yes, Sid. Yeah, also in that article, Warren Downey Jr. accused you of having a glass eye. Yeah, well, <laughs> did he really? Well, he accused me of all kinds of things. Let's call it. You're on the air. Hello. Hello. This is Marcel from Lake Beach. Yes. Yeah, I'd like to speak to Wally George if I could. You're on right now. Go ahead. Yeah, hi there. I just have a quick question. All right. Um, why did? What was the ploy? Why did you? Oh, get off my show. Get off. Don't don't annoy me, you little twit. Hello. You're on the air. Hello, Wally. Brendan from Santa Ana. <laughs> yes. Yes. Do you think the Dodgers trade for Eddie Murray will affect your impotence? Uh, will you get? Don't start with me. Don't tell me about your personal problems. Next caller, hello, you're on the air. Hello. Next caller, hello, you're on the air. Hello. Yeah, it's too, it's, Thank you, have a nice day. It's too late, you blew it. This. this is Dan from LA? Yes, Dan. Well, I was wondering, you know what the world and... Wait a minute, wait a minute. When you grow up in about 12 years, call me back. Hello, Wally? Yes. Uh, hi, this is Jamie Yerger from Huntington Beach. Yes. Um, do you think as well as I do that the first move that... Uh, uh, Reagan, I mean, pardon me, Bush should make is to confront your impotence. Oh, boy, I should have known that, that horrifyingly stupid, idiotic voice. Boy, there are a few little stupid, idiotic, infantile jerks who love to jam these lines with their idiotic humor. And, you know, it's just sickening and disgusting. Yes, hello, Wally? Yes. Yeah, this is Tim Dowling from Santa Monica. Yes, Tim. Yeah, I'd like to say, first of all, happy birthday. Thank you very much. And did you know some of the most impressive achievements in human history were made in the period before people kept written records? Because there are no records of names, dates, or events from prehistoric times, scholars and scientists have devoted much time and research to finding unwritten clues and trying to tell the story of the people of those times. They have traced human progress in many areas, making tools, using fire, developing language. They have concluded that people... People change from hunting and gathering their food to farming, herding. Wait a minute! Wait a minute! Wait! Why do you think this is some kind of a of a National Geographic program? And yes, as a matter of fact, everything you said I did know, and everybody knows it. We're not stupid. Oh, you little idiot! Next caller, you're on the air. Hello. Hello, Wally. Yes. Hi, this is Bob Wine from Forest Lawn. What the Thanks for calling out, and have a nice picnic out there. Hello? Hello? Yeah, who's this? This is Jesse. Wally, um, I heard that Warren said that you're... Didn't I tell you? Did you hear that squeaky little voice? That little... That was a slow eruption before we got him out, sent him into orbit. Did you hear how old that, that little moron was? He was probably about five years old, going on four. Boy, these little freaks who crawl out of their playpen to call Wally. Yeah, hi, is this the Wally George Show? Yes, go ahead. Hello? Yes, you're on the air, go ahead. Yeah, hi, I'm calling about the kids that were shot in the schoolhouse. Yes. Yeah, uh, why, and why are you such a jerkette? <laughs> you know... I, I wish I could play that back for you 
so you, you could really be embarrassed. You know, I'm embarrassed for you. You seem to, you sound like you're a grown man, uh, you, but you, you come across as a complete fool, as a complete dweeb. I'm embarrassed for you, you know? <laughs> Can you imagine a man of, of, of your age hanging around on, on the phone to come on and say a stupid thing like that? My heart goes out to you, my friend. How pitiful a creature you are. Pitiful. I'll go back to the uh, phone calls. Hello, you're on the air. Boy. Yes. Get off the, grab that perverted idiot. Don't call me on the air and try to be filthy and disgusting, even though you are. Keep your filth and perversion to yourselves. Let's call it. You're on the air. Yeah, I'd like to talk to Wally. What about? Oh, boy, they're, they're out in mass. Get rid of him. That's caller. Hello, you're on the air. Yeah, Wally. This is Dan from Palos Verdes. Yes? I'd like to say that I really enjoy your program, and I have a question. What's the question? Um, I'd like to know how it's possible you can still have children. Oh, yeah. <laughs> boy, don't tell me it's going to be one of those sickening, disgusting days when all the mentally uh, damaged idiots with, with uh, fried brains are going to start calling us and causing havoc. Next caller, you're on the air. Nothing. Hello, next caller, you're on the air. Hello. Hello, next nice caller. Hello. Hello, you're on the air. Talk to me. Well, now, that really tears it. Take one more real nice call. Hello. Next nice caller, you're on the air. Hi, Wally. Wait, no. Anybody who starts off by saying, um, I know, I know, is an idiot. Nobody starts off. You know, I've always noticed that. Whenever someone, have you ever noticed, whenever, whenever someone is a, an idiot, they always come on, um. And then, you know, how else I know when it's a bad caller? Is I say, who is this? And they go, uh, <laughs> you know, then I know. Yeah, hi there. I'm waiting to speak to Wally George. You're talking to him. Go ahead. You're hi, on... this is Matt Powell from Orange County. Yes. Yeah, hi there. I'd like to just make a comment. Uh, not only am I, I'm sure the rest of the world is shocked about what's happened in Miami and why this whole riot would start over your impotence. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, uh, the whole world is shocked at, at your illiteracy. Hello? Hello? Yeah, go ahead. What do you want to oh. talk about? Oh, well, I want to ask Wally why he never returned my letter. Uh, what's your name? Ray. Okay, I'll, I'll ask Wally. Okay. Thanks for calling, Ray. Hey, Wally, why didn't you ever return Ray's letter? I'll tell you why I didn't return your letter, Ray. Because you're a nitwit. Hello, next caller. You're on the air. Hello? Uh, hello. I'd like to talk to Wally. What about? I'd like to talk to Wally about uh, his commentary on Morton Downey Jr. Because I'm going to go see Morton tomorrow night, and I want to know if he wants me to ask him any questions. Well, you're talking to Wally now. Huh? You're on the you're air. Back. Oh, hey! <laughs> You're gone, pal. You and Morton deserve each other. I, I hope when you, when you go and see Morton that you'll go and give him a big kiss right on the mouth. I know both of you will, will enjoy it tremendously. I, is a caller coming in? Let's try it again. I hope somebody... Uh, hello, hello, Wally. Hello. Hi, Wally. Yeah, finally we... Uh, maybe we should check the phones before we go on the air. Uh, Hello. Oh, my God. This is the first time I've ever been on. This is Pete Brady. First time you've been on? Yeah. Well, good. What's on your mind today? <laughs> your lip. I'm trying to be kind and gentle. Not easy with you, you stupid nitwit. I said that kindly and gently, didn't I? Anna? What's on your mind today, Chuck? Yeah, I wanted to comment on the deficit of hair on your head and jaw. Oh, get off my... You see, last day, yesterday we had such nice callers, and, all, and now all of a sudden the idiots are loose. Hello? Make me mad now. I'm, I'm beginning to lose my kindness and my gentleness. Hello, you're on the air. Hello, Wally. Yes? This is J.J. from Pomona. Yes, J.J. Yeah, I want to comment on some of these beer commercials. All right. I feel that they're out to glamorize your impotence. Oh, I knew... Ow! <laughs> I knew it! Get off my show! I'm not going to be kind and nice anymore! Next caller, you're on the air. I'm sorry, Mr. President, but I've lost my temper. I can't be kind and nice. You be kind and nice for me. I can't do it anymore. I'm sorry, Mr. President. Go ahead, you're on the air. Hello? Yes, go ahead. Well, it's Steve from La Mirada. I yes. I know you feel about year-round school and cheap white toupees. Uh, 
What do I think about moron teenagers like you is, is what you, you should ask me. Let's go to the next caller. Hello, you're on the air. Hi, Wally. This is Lance from Brea. Yes, Lance. Yeah, can you see out of that? Yes, I certainly can, and I can see the, that, that, that you are a number one, and not only that, you are also one of these, not to mention one of these. Next caller, you're on the air. Hi, can I have to Wally? What about? His wig. No, you can't talk to Wally, and you never will be able to, ever. Take a little break and come right back. I'm really not kind, and I'm really not gentle. Oh, I Kip from Pomona. How are you doing today? Pretty good. I have a question about Bush. All right. How's... Oh, off the air. Off. Hey, get that perverted imbecile off the air. And don't you ever call me back again, you... Yes. This is Norm Peterson from Sears Beach. Yes, Norm. Hi, I want to know uh, what Morton Downey Jr. is doing under your desk. Yeah, uh... <laughs> well, you know, Morton must still be in town. That was his his brother. Okay, thanks, Steve. Very, what's on your mind? Um, I attended, attended uh, Jesse's speech in Pomona on Wednesday. Jesse Jackson? Yes. Yes. And he, he talked openly of your lobotomy. Oh, boy. <laughs> you know, we could, talk, we, we could talk for hours openly about your stupidity, but I wouldn't want to waste my valuable airtime. Banana. Yes, Steve? Well, first, I wish, hope you had a very happy 60th birthday. Oh, get off my show. Jeez, I won't be 60 for another 20 years. Right? Right, John? Yes, yes John just sits there laughing hysterically. No, uh, but I'll tell you, I'll, I'll wish you a happy 11th birthday in, in, in about three or four years. Pipsqueak. Hi, Wally. Yeah. Hi, this is Ted Knight from Huntington Beach. What's on your mind today? It's Who can good take good. a no and nothing day? You're born! Oh! Off! 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 Boy, what nitwits. Hey, first of all, I had a great time last night at the filming of your show. Oh, you came down for the taping last Wednesday. Right, right. Okay, yeah, I, right. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Okay, and um, I wanted to say that you have a glass of... Oh, uh, thank you so much. And I wanted to say that you'll never get back in again. Next caller, hello, you're on the air. Yeah, hi there. This is Norm Peterson from Lake Beach. Yes. <laughs> you know... Guy's a real slob, isn't he? A real pig. Yeah! And he just proved it to my millions of viewers. The guy is a slobby pig animal. And his mom and dad have to put up with him every day. Yeah! <laughs> he, what's on your mind today, Sam? I want to ask you uh, one question. Hopefully you'll have an answer for me. Well, I always have an answer for everything. Right. Uh, I just wanted to know why you killed Joe Pat. Oh, jeez. Uh, I've got, the only thing I don't have an answer for is you. Why are you here on this planet bugging great Americans like me? I have no answer for that. Hello. Yeah, who's this? Yeah, this is Alfredo. Alfredo. I'm calling, I'm from New York. I'm visiting right now. Well, good to hear from you, Alfredo. How you doing? All right. Well, I drive a taxi, but I just want to say your victory magazine's a comic book. Well, <laughs> and you are a comic strip. Strip on back to New York. Who needs you, you pervert? Let's call you're on the air. Wally? Yes. Oh, hi. This is Ted from Huntington Beach. Yes, Ted. Um, I'm, I watch your show, and I enjoy it, and I appreciate how you stand up and are strong against this impetus problem. Well, yeah, and, and I, I'm sorry that you have such a bad problem, and I hope you get cured quickly. It's not likely, but I'm sure you will get cured uh, within a few years with heavy, 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 uh, care, psychologically, and otherwise. Good luck to you. That's yes, Larry? Yeah, I wanted to come on your... Oh, uh, jeez, don't bug me. Don't you know how important this is? We're trying to save America here, and, and you're behaving like an idiot, like you always do. Hello, you're on the air. Okay. Whoops. Hello? Hello? Hello, go ahead, you're on the air. Hello, Wally. Yeah, who's this? You're limp... Oh, uh, ha, 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 ha. Let's get a decent caller. We only have about a minute left. Let's get one decent caller to, to wind it up. Hello, uh, Wally? Yes. Jim from Los Alamitos. Yes. Yeah, uh, no, no, I, I already answered the phone, Gia. Yes, uh, go ahead. Okay, I want to comment on your yesterday's commentary involving the NAACP. The NAACP, yes. Right. I feel that they're taking advantage of your impotence. Oh, uh, jeez. 
What is the matter with you people? Next caller, hello, you're on the air. Don't tell me about your problems. I don't have the same problems you do. If you have a problem, don't try to push it off onto me. Oh, you're on the air. Is this Wally? Yes. Hi, Wally. This is Mike from Orange County. Yes, Mike. I'd like to know why you have fake hair. Oh, uh, get off. Another. You see? You know what? Uh, give me one more real nice caller, and then we'll take a break. Yes, uh, Wally. Yes. Um, about a week ago, I had written you a letter. Well, first of all, let me uh, introduce myself to you. Uh, my name is B.J. Gooberslobber II. Get off my show, B.J. Gooberslobber, you stupid idiot. I'll bet you do slobber all over your goober. Hello? Who's this? Jeff from Los Angeles. What's on your mind, Jeff? Uh, I'd just like to uh, know um, when you're going to show everybody that you're going to lose that wig. Uh, <laughs> that ain't cute, buddy boy. It certainly isn't. John. Six years. Six years I've been sitting here doing these shows, the hotline and hot seat. Six years I've been sitting here. And for six years, you idiots out there have nothing better to do than call up and say, Hey, Wally, when are you going to get rid of that wig? You know, you have no imagination, no originality. First of all, the only reason you say that is everybody at home, every guy looks at my hair, and they get so envious and so jealous that I could have such beautiful... It make the slightest difference to me. It makes a lot of difference to me, because I have a beautiful head of hair. Look at that hair. Look at that hair. Beautiful. And these, and these idiots are so jealous. Hello, Wally? Yes, you're on the air. Hey, Wally, um, hi, Wally, you got... Get him off of here. The guy abs obviously, obviously has fried his brains for the last four or five years, the guy obviously has to be put in an institution. Hello, you're on the air. Hello, Wally. Yes. How are you doing? Pretty good. Did you know that the drying of blood to the capillaries can lead to partial or total impotence? Yeah, uh, yes, I did, and I'm sorry that you have that problem. Better luck next time. <laughs> yeah, okay. Hello? Who is that? Hello, you're on the air. Hi, Wally. This is Mike DeMone from Santa Ana. Yes, Mike. Okay. okay, make a note, guys. We have a little, uh, a little edit to do right there because some idiot wanted to get filthy. You see, don't you understand, you idiots? You can't get filthy on this program. We just edit you out. But I'll tell you what this moron just said will never go over the air. But I, wa I have a little, a little message for you. You filthy degenerate, I dare you to come down to these studios and say what you just said to my face, and I'll break every bone in your stupid body. I dare you. Come on down here and face me. But you'll never do it, you spineless little cowardly degenerate wimp. People are so brave when they call me on the phone. This guy, if he faced me face to face, he would be trembling in his pink panties. H Hello, Ollie. This is George from Brea. Yes, George from Brea. Yes. I, I want to say firstly that I agree with 99.9% .9 of the things you stand for. Good. But I disagree with your impotence. Uh, well, I disagree with your sanity. <laughs> Hello, you're on the air. Hello. I am not afraid. Well, I'm not either. Let's just put the next caller on. I'm not afraid of any of these stupid idiots. Next caller, you're on the air. Hello? 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 Talk to me. Hello, Wally? Hey, who's this? This is Ted from Santa Ana. What's on your mind today? Uh, do you agree, as I do, that George Bush's first move should be to uh, work on your impotence? Oh. You know, I'm really getting sick of you idiots. I'm getting, you know, Will you stop talking about your physical problems on my show? Get out and stop bugging me, you idiots. Let's call her. You're on the air. Hello? Hello? Yeah, who's this? Is this Wally? Who is this? This is Dave Scheffler. What do you want to talk about, Dave? Uh, well, I just want to talk about the, <clears throat> the show uh, on today. Well, what about it? Uh, 
you're, you're saying you agree with the capital punishment. I just want to say I agree with you. Well, thank you for telling us that. That was really nice of you to do that. Let's go to the next caller. Hello, you're on the air. Hello? Yes. Who is this? Who's this? This is Mike. What do you want to talk about, Mike? I want to talk about uh, uh, Ted Bundy's last words before he, he got... What were his last words? What's that? What were his last words? Ah! Why, you wet nose walking weedy roast. I know what my last words are going to be to you. I can't say them off the air, but I'll tell you on the phone if you want to call me personally. I'll give you f some famous last words. Huh? I'll sizzle your stupid little brain. I'd well, like to know what you think about the new insurance law in California and if it is constitutional or not. Because... Hold it! Uh, I'll tell you what I think. Nitwit, I think you have to be put in a padded cell by five o'clock this evening. By about quarter hour. I think you're a danger to be walking the streets. Hello. It's Wally. Who's this? This is Wally George, the idiot. You know what you are, numbskull? Don't bother. Don't bother. Right, you are a twit. Now, of course, you being an idiot, brain dead, will probably not know what this is. So go and ask mommy. Mommy, what is a twit? And when she tells you, you'll know that's what you are. Have a nice day. Hey, go out and lie out in the rain for a while. Go out and lie in the gutter for several hours. You'll love it. You'll love it. Hello, you're on the air. Hello. Let's go to the caller. Hello. Hello, this is Charlie Dance from El Toro. What's on your mind, Charlie? Hi. Uh, real quickly, me and my wife wanted to make a comment to you. What about? Uh, originally, the problem was not that important until the liberal media blew it way out of proportion. Well, what problem? Your impotent... Ah, oh, get off. Get off, you... <laughs> you're out of here, dude. You imbecilic dweeb. <laughs> Let's go ahead with Wally. Go ahead. Hi, Wally. This is Steve from Tom Valley. How you doing? What do you got? What's on your mind today? Yeah, hey, I was wondering what preschool you're sending your kid to. Uh, <laughs> speaking of preschool, uh, any year now, you're going to be old enough to go there. Any year now. Hey, I think it's time for a diaper change. Better run to mommy. Huh? Yes, Rick, what's on your mind today? I want to comment on your commentary about Jessica Hahn. Well, what do you think about that bimbo? <laughs> well, I, first of all, I agree she's a bimbo, but I think it just goes to show your impotence. Yeah, well, jeez. Oh, you and Jessica deserve each other. Bob Boucher? Yes, Bob. Yeah, hi there. I just want to get your feelings. And what do you speculate or foresee how the situation will change? Where? Excuse me? What situation? Your impotence. Oh, get off. I, why did I ask him? I, I think we can, we can lose the phone numbers now. Why did I ask him? I should have known this was, a, this was an idiot. I, I walked right into that. I'm not mad at you. I'm mad at myself for, for being dumb enough not to sense from your idiotic voice that you were a perverted, stupid, nitwit dweeb. I'm hungry. Well, I don't care. Next caller, hello, you're on the air. Hello? Yes, who's this? Hi, this is um, John from Lakewood. John from Lakewood. How old are you, John? I am 18. No, you're not, John. Get off the air. Nobody lies to Wally. I know an 18-year-old voice when I hear one. That voice is about 12. Hello, you're on with Wally. Hello. Hi. Who's this? Hello. Hi. Hello, who is this? Um, this is Rich. Um, you're off. Next caller, I hate it when they say, um, that really gets it. Always gives them away as being complete, idiotic, brain-dead morons. Oh, hello, you're on the air. Hello? Wally? Yeah, who's this? Um, yeah, this is John from Warren. I can hardly hear you. Can I have a, a little more in my ear here? Yes, go ahead. Um, yeah. Yeah, that's fine. Um, I was just, uh, wondering if the rumor that your wife... Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, have you heard the rumors about you? Have you heard your rumors? I've heard a lot of rumors about you, sweetheart. I hear that you have a beautiful little uh, pink pad in West Hollywood. And I also hear that you wear pink underpants. Is that true? We've heard a lot about you, pal. 
and your eyeshadow and your false eyelashes. <laughs> Talk about rumors. The whole town is talking about you, pervert. Right, Jeff? Right. Jeff knows all about you. We know your voice. Now, here. Hello. Hello, Wally. This is Brendan from Los Alamitos. Brendan, what's on your mind today? Um, what do you think of me? Grab, grab it, grab it fast. Another perverted maniac. Next caller. Hello, you're on the air. Wally. Yes. How come you're such a... Come on, let me... Come on, this is a serious program, you morons. Give me a decent caller. Next caller. Hello, you're on the air. Hello. Next caller, you're on the air. Hello. Talk to me. Hello. Hello. Yeah, who's this? Who's this? Who do you want to talk to? Wally George. What about? I want to talk to him about the gang affair. The gang affair? Yeah. He... How, how do you feel about the gangs? I feel that. Oh. Uh, I feel that. I should buy you a new weapon. Uh -huh, yeah, well, I don't think you feel much of anything because you're obviously brain dead. And you're also probably one of those gang members. Hello, you're on the air. Hello, Wally. This is William from Brea. Yes, William. Yes. The scary thing about bimbos like Donna Rice and Jessica Hahn is that they're well aware of your impotence. Yeah. Don't bother me. That's, That's caller. Call you're on the air. Hello. Hello. Hello? Yes, go ahead. You're on the air. Hello, talk to me. This is Steve from Altora. What's on your mind, Steve? And um, I'd like to know how you feel about the... Uh, um, the, the, the what? When you get that question together in your mind, then call me back. I know it's kind of hard for you to get one sentence out at a time. Hello, you're on the air. Wally. Yes. Your wife's the bimbo. Well, thank you very much. Let's call her. You're on the air. Nitwit Scott. Hello, you're on the air. Hello, Wally. Yes. Yeah, who's this? This is John. Yeah, I hope your mother puts a whole bar of ivory soap down your filthy uh, throat. Next caller, you're on the air. Hello. Hello, Wally. Yeah, who's this? This is Henry Castro from Huntington Beach. What's on your mind today? Yeah, I want to talk about your impotence. Oh, you, 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 you get off! Don't, don't be such an imbecile. Do you know how imbecilic you are when you call up saying stupid, idiotic things like that? Why do you want to behave like such a juvenile idiot? You probably still wear pampers. Next caller, you're on. And by the way, I think they need to be changed. Next caller, you're And put another pamper over your face. Next caller, you're on the air. Hi, oh, well, this is Jerome from Orange. I'd like to comment on your toupee and false. Yeah, thank you very much. Get off. Wally? Yes. It is Tyson Lang the Beach. How you doing, Wally? Well, not too bad. What's on your mind? Uh, it's about the satanic verses. You know how you have a glass eye and all? Yeah, uh-huh, uh-huh. Uh, uh, thanks so much, much for calling. We want to wish you all the best. Okay? Thanks for calling, friend. Hello, you're on the air. Hello, Wally? Yeah. Hi, uh, this is Chuck from Santa Ana. Is it true you're empty? Yeah, uh, get off. Hello, you're on the air. Yes, Wally? Yeah, who's this? This is Cliff Clavin from Huntington Beach. Yeah, what's on your mind, Cliff? How are you doing? All right. I just had a quick question for you. Yes? Uh, it goes back a few years. On, it, what you're thinking is on why that you killed Joe Pond. Oh, uh, get off. Uh, Ajia, can you lower the, that fullback a little tiny bit? It, it's almost uh, blowing out my eardrum. Hello, you're on the air. Yeah. You're ugly. Hello, who is this? Okay, next caller, go ahead. You're impotent. I'll tell you. What a bunch of morons. Next, oh, yes. Hi, this is Norm Peterson. Hello, Norm. From Santa Ana? Yeah. Yeah, my question to you is, uh, Gorbachev, when he cut his visit short, he made a statement when his, in his final speech as he left to go on the plane that uh, uh, as a child you were cross... I'll grab, grab that, get that off. You see, do you really think we're going to let you get on with your uh, profanity? Take a hike, stick your head down you know where, and flush it. That's Carly, you're on the air. Wally? Yes. Hi, this is Dan from Los Angeles. Yes. Hi, I was wondering if I could get some feedback on your wooden teeth. Oh, uh, boy. Wait, was that a girl or a boy? You, you know, I, uh, I think we better get some feedback on you 
none of us here in the studio could tell whether you were male or female. <laughs> oh, boy. You, I think you really have a serious problem. Look into it. Consult your neighborhood psychiatrist. Oh, hello, Wally? Yeah, you're on the air. Go ahead. Oh, this is Joseph from um, Orange. Yes, Joseph. I just wanted to tell you that your Vaseline... Ah, uh... oh, get off. Uh, hey, why don't you scrape some of that Vaseline off your pukey little head? Hi, this is Pat from L.A. Yes, Paul, what's on your mind today? Yeah, well, I love the show, but the toupee's got... Ah, oh, get off. Don't, don't get smart with me. Right, here we are on this beautiful new million-dollar set, and you're, and you're bugging me already. Get out of here. Don't bother me. Don't bother. Let's go. Mark Roy from Brea. How you doing, Jeff? Pretty good. How are you, Wally? Fine. Yeah, I, with all due respect to George Bush, I think he's avoiding your impotence. Oh, get off. I think you are avoiding the fact that you have no brains and never will have, and don't bore us to death with your stupid uh, juvenile actions. Next caller, you're on the air. Uh, hi. I was wondering about your... Yeah, I, I have a solution for you, a, a lifetime in a padded cell. You're on your way now, Pally. The ambulance is heading towards your home. Yes. Hi, this is Fraser Crane from Costa Mesa. Yes, Fraser. Um, I just wanted to uh, make a comment about your magazine, which I've... Victory Magazine, right. Right. Um, I think a good article, a good hard-hitting article would be uh, an article on the assassination of Joe Pop Oh, get off, get off. Hey, a good article. Hey, a good article is is going to be about you when they lock you up in a padded cell. That I'll put that on the front page. A joy to the world. This is Paul from Irvine. Yes, sir. How you doing? All right. Yes, I'd like to say Heil Hitler, you Jew. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, I'll tell you, that's the last time you'll be calling on this program, you fascist Nazi. I wanted to comment on the correlation between gun control and your impotence. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, I want to correlate uh, on the, uh, the, the very close proximity between you and a jackass. Oh, no, not that one. Hello. Yeah, go ahead. You're on the air. Well, thank you. What well, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye. Best caller. Hello, you're on the air. Wait a minute. Oh, like some nutcase. Uh, hello, you're on the air. Hello. Yes, go ahead. You're on the air. Hello? Yeah? Talk to me. Yeah? 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 Oh. Yeah. Oh, yeah. A uh, yellow? Yeah. Go ahead. Another demented moron. Boy, oh boy. Hello? Hello? Who's this? Hello? Hello? Talk to me. Hello? Hello? It's Steve. Goodbye. Get off, Steve. Hello? Don't be an idiot. Uh, if you don't know enough to turn down your television set, then you're not going to go on the air. Hello, next caller, you're on the air. Hello? Hello? Is anybody there? Let's go to the next caller. Boy, oh boy. Hello, next caller, you're on the air. Hello? Yeah, who's this? This is John Paul Jones. I'm in Santa Ana. Yes, John Paul Jones. <laughs> yeah, do you think... Uh... The White House should make a comment about your impotence. Uh, I, I think the White House should make oh, an immediate... Yeah, excuse me, Rally. Yes. Uh, that's okay. Whatever you did, I excuse you. I think that, uh, for that last caller, I think the, that the White House should make an immediate, uh, a, an immediate announcement a, as to why they're going to lock you up for the remainder of your days. Next caller, you're on the air. Hello, Wally? Yes. Yes, this is Chuck from Los Alamitos. Chuck from Los Alamitos? Right. Wait, what's on your mind today? Uh, how you doing, Limpy? Uh, <laughs> how are you doing? Let's go I've been carrying on a regular yeah. talk show with my Hey, son. how are you doing, wart, wart face? Huh? Isn't it about time you popped a few of those pimples on your big, ugly nose? Don't make me laugh. Yeah, he makes everybody laugh. He's a, he's a riot. Uh, next caller, you're on the air. Hello? Wally? Yes. This is Mark from Covina. Thanks for calling, Mark. Let's go to the next caller. Hello, you're on the air. Hi. Hello. Hello, Wally. Yes. You're limp. <laughs> are you? No, I think you are about the most... Uh oh You're about the most lame caller we've had so far. Strong, next caller. I can feel... Hello, you're on the air. Pregnant, you stupid... We have to edit that. We have a, a perverted moron on, on the uh, dial there. Mark that, okay, guys? Next caller, you're on the air. Hello? Hello? Yeah, you're on the air. Go ahead. Hello, caller? Hello? 
Hello, I'd like to speak to Wally George if I could. What about? Uh Another edit? Another edit point right there. Okay, we got two of them. Hello, nice caller. You're on the air. Hello. Hello, Wally George. Yes. You're limp. We'll take a little break and come right back. As soon as we clear all the weirdos off the line, stay where you are. Hello, Wally. Yeah, who's this? This is Damone from Richmond. All right, what's on your mind today? Yeah, what can we do as a nation about your... Oh, jeez. Why do I get these idiots calling me? I'm getting sick of it. I'm really angry now. Do I look angry? I am angry. Just turn it off, okay? All right. Well, give me a good caller, then. All right. Uh, next caller. Hello, you're on the air. Hello? Hello? Yeah, who's this? This is Greg and Brea. What's up? You know, there's something about his voice. Huh? I just... Get off! I can just tell. He's waiting to say something stupid. I can tell it. I can t I've been doing this now, on this show, for six years. And I can tell that stupid little quality they get I to their I'm voice. I think I'm going to be sick again. Yeah, me too. Okay, then... Let's get a, a real nice this call. This is really dumb. I wish you would just stop. Uh, me too. Yeah. Hello, Henry. Oh, hi, I want to comment on Fidel Castro. All right. Okay, I was originally born in Cuba along with my family, and the reason we came out here was because he stole the glass eye. Well, uh, geez, <laughs> thanks a lot. Well, I think you should go back. Who? Bing? Bing? From Garden Grove? Hello, Bing. Yeah, how are you doing? Is this a Wally George? This is me. How are you doing? Fine. I had a quick comment uh, to make. All right. I'd like to make a comment about your impotence. Oh, uh, ha, ha, ha. I'd like to make a, com uh, a comment about your insanity. It, it, it must run in the family. Yes, this is Lamont calling from the gay community. From the gay community? I can visit. You're, you're, a, you're from the gay community? Yes. Are you gay, sweetheart? Yes, I am. Bitch. Well, I was, gee whiz. Have a happy Christmas. I want you. Yeah, go get him. He's waiting for you. He's waiting for you on the corner of La Brea and Santa Monica Boulevard in West Hollywood. Have a very merry... Excuse I want me. you. He's waiting for you. Go, go get him. Excuse me. That's all right. Go right ahead. Keaton from Irvine. Yes? And I think Tom Bradley is stupid to think that people are racist to him just because he's under your desk. Well, yeah, well, yeah. Uh, it isn't funny. It isn't funny at, at all. It's tragic. Next caller. Hello, you're on the air. Hello. Yeah, I can hardly hear you. Go ahead. Pardon me? Yeah, go ahead. Hello. You're on the air. Go ahead. Oh, I'd just like to make a comment about your impotence. Yeah. <laughs> well, now, that really tears it. Two, I was going to go easy on you, not to hurt your feelings. Two complete imbeciles in a row. I'll bet they're Siamese twins. Yes, sir. Yeah, Mike. Okay. I have a question about Bush. Yes. I grab that little pervert. You stupid little perverted moronic imbecile. Do you think you're smart with those pimples all over your big fat nose? You better go pop a few. On the air, who's this? Hello, Wally? Yeah, who's this? Hi, this is Mark. Well, uh, what's on your mind tonight, Mark? Yeah, I just want to ask you real quickly, uh, when do you think the press will release the statement of your impotence? Yeah, uh, ho, 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 there he is. I'm not wasting my breath on you, a and also, while I'm at it, a big one, a big one. I don't waste my breath anymore. I'm, not... I'm calling regarding one of the last callers. This is uh, Jess Spigoli from Newport Beach. Yes. Um, one of the last callers made a comment about the satanic bands and how Geraldo made some ridiculous... First of all, anything Geraldo says is just hogwash. Don't I, about that I don't agree uh, with you. There, there's a lot of things he, that he does on his show that I, I think is, are ridiculous there's a lot of things he says that is hogwash but i watched his special on nbc uh, on sat satanic music and satanism and i say that that he had a lot of things going for him. what don't you agree on well no first of all i agree personally i don't like him some of his opinions i agree with but about he made a comment about the you get it, grab 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 it grab get him off get him off this stupid little idiot that special was right on target, right on target. There are satanic rock bands that are leading kids into Satanism. Yes. Hello, sir. This is Ar Army Josh, and I'd like to talk to you about your fake hair. Yes, yes, and I think uh, you yeah, like get off my, hey, get off my show, you perverted moron. Pervert! Don't ever call me again. 
Next caller, you're on the air. Hi, Wally. Yes. This is Robert Plant. I'm from Newport Beach. Yes. Yes, I was hoping that you would make a comment and give us your feelings about your impotence. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. One after the other. Good show. Thank you. I, I want to thank you for sharing your views, your opinions, and your wife. Oh, boy. <laughs> well, I'm very happy to, uh, to have, uh, have Janice share my, my program and... Uh, if you feel happy seeing Janice on the air like that, and, well, I'm, I'm happy to do that for you and to brighten up your, your life a little bit because obviously you're never going to have a woman of your own. I mean, everybody can probably figure that out. Robert Commie? Yes. Uh, Robert Commie? Yes. Are, are you a Commie, Robert? No, sir. Oh, all right. Well, well then go ahead, I guess. Okay. Uh, I was wondering, what is your response to Mayor Tom Bradley's quote in today's Los Angeles Sentinel newspaper? What did he say? No, 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 I... I, I sure do like fried chicken. Oh, get off, get off. I knew I shouldn't have asked what did he say. Get out of here. Next caller, hello, you're on the air. Hello. Next caller, you're on the air. Oh, hi, how are you doing today? Fine, who's this? Oh, this is Bill Walker. Yes, sir, what's on your mind? You big per... Okay, and a very Merry Christmas to you, too. I, I certainly appreciate those kind words. Pierce from Anaheim. Yes, Pierce. Got it. Yeah, I was reading an article today in the Orange County Register. About and, me? Uh, and it said that, uh, through, uh, that scientific research has proven that uh, men that wear wigs suffer... Oh, from get them. off, get off. Get off, get off the air. Come on. You are reading the article about me, weren't you? By Ray Richmond. It's okay, Ray. Hi, Merry Christmas to you. Merry Christmas to you. Greetings. Hi, I just wanted to get your feelings. I know on Friday I caught the tail end of your commentary about the PLO. Yes. Um, one thing, I don't think we have anything really to lose. And two, is I, I'm, I'm for Reagan um, having the meetings at Forest Lawn with Joe Pond. Uh, okay, now, 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 <laughs> yes, boy. Next caller, hello, you're on the air. Hello. Hello, Wally. Yes. Hi, this is Adrian Frederick from Long Beach. Yes. Hi, you retard. Uh, yeah. <laughs> well, I'll tell you. Hey, do you know what you are? And this is what you are. Memorize this, because this is what you are, and you also are this. Not to mention this. I don't, I don't waste my, my voice on them anymore. I mean, a sign is worth a million words, as someone once said. Let's go to our next caller. Hello, you're on the air. Hello. This is Gary. Yeah, I was wondering, uh, do you use steroids for the side effects? Well, what did he say? Do you use hey! steroids? He's out. Do you use steroids for side effects? Obviously, friend. Let me find a good one for you. Let me find a, a good one for you. There's none here that even suits you. You are obviously. Oh, expects a Spanish Inquisition. You are obviously, seriously, brain damaged. Obviously, you've been snorting Ajax for about 15 years. Once that brain clears up, which it may never, try us again. Next caller, you're on the air. Hello. Next caller. All of you impotent for. Ah, oh, get off my. Don't waste my valuable time. Next caller. Hello, Ness Carly, you're on the air. Hello, Wally, this is Jim from Fullerton. Yes, Jim. Yeah, I wanted to make a quick call about your impotence. Yeah, oh, boy, oh, boy, come on, come on, come on. Uh, I want to order a, a pizza to go and no anchovies. Yeah, yes, send it over to this. That ain't cute, cute buddy, buddy boy. boy. Yes, you're on the air. Yeah, Wally, this is Mike from Antelope Valley. Yes, Mike. And I have the right to go down there and cut you. Oh, yeah, I could tell by that sleazy, stupid, raunchy little voice what was going to come out of there. So, you know, goodbye. Have a nice day. Go soak your ugly head. Next caller, you're on the air. And it is ugly. Ugly. Hello. Hello. Who's this? This is Bryce. How old are you? Um, I'm, I'm 18. I get out of here. Did you hear that? Hi, Wally, I'm 18. He's about oh, oh, I don't know pain. I don't know pain. I have no depth of pain. <laughs> He's got more than pain. He's got diaper rash. I have news for you. Yeah, and I was just reading an article in Newsweek magazine today 
and they say that you killed Joe Biden. Oh, get off. Obviously, you, hey, don't tell me you just read Newsweek. You can't read at all. Obviously, you can't talk. Obviously, you got no brain, so you don't read. Don't tell me you're reading Newsweek. I don't even think you can read Superman comic books. Let's call her. You're on the air. Hello, Wally. Yes. Yeah. You got some against homosexuals? I certainly do. Are you one? You'd make a good one. Oh, 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 boy. I'll tell you. Yeah, I got a lot against homosexuals. <laughs> they are a perversion. Oh, what expects a Spanish Inquisition? They're a perversion, a sickness, and responsible for the spreading of AIDS in America. Hello, next nice caller. You're on the air. Hello. Hello, Wally. Yeah, who's this? Is that a wig? Boy, six years. That's all you can come up with. Six years I've been going through this. It's my own lovely hair, you know it. John, are you on the window? Hello, John. Yeah, I want to talk about your impotence. Oh, uh, I want to talk about damaged brain. Next caller, you're on the air. Uh, yeah, Wally, this is Gary. Yes. Uh, I was wondering if you'd come down to our bathhouse in Hollywood. Uh, no. <laughs> I'll tell you what, though. No, I would not be interested, but I'll pass your invitation along to Morton Downey, Jr. I'm sure he'll be glad to come down and uh, show you his warts. I'll, I'll pass the word along. Next caller, hello, you're on the air. Hello, this is Stephanie Bauer. Stephanie? How are you doing, Wally? You, you got a cold, Stephanie? Oh, 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 oh. Next caller, hello, you're on the air. Hello. Oh. Stephanie has a problem. She's half male, half female. Hello, go ahead. Let's call her. Hello, you're on the air. Hello. Hello, this is Bob Boucher. Yes, Bob. How are you doing today? All right. Hi. I, I, this is the first time I ever got in. It's amazing. Well, I'm glad you got in on this Monday. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, some, oh, this is tape for Monday. Um, my question to you is, what would you do if you had impotence? Uh, boy. Boy, spare me from these imbeciles. Now, give me somebody with has something on their mind. Hello, you're on the air. Hi, Hello. This is Wally George. Yeah, go ahead. Wally, you're limp, bald, and ugly. <laughs> hey, do you feel real, real macho now? Boy, you really took on Wally, didn't you? Boy, what a brave little twerp you are. Oh, boy. Congratulations. Congratulations, wimpo, pervert. This is Dave from Orange. Hello, Dave. How's it going? All right. You're a fag. Oh, uh, get off. Don't irritate me tonight. I'm in no mood to be irritated. You, you are now banned from this program. You may never call again. And we know who you are. If you do try to call in again, you will be electrocuted. <laughs> no, I'm only kidding. Next caller, hello, you're on the air. Hi, Wally, it's Pat from L.A. Yes, go ahead. Uh, how do you feel about that new group organized and pitching in money to help get you a new wig? Oh, uh, well, <laughs> they're, they're still at it. They're st still the, the perverts are still out there, the idiots, the little namby-pamby morons. Let's clear the phones and, and get some, some decent people on. Uh, hello, you're on the air. Fabulous Friday, Wally. This is David Melton. Well, how are you, David? Pretty good. How are you doing? What do you want to talk about today? I wanted to ask, are you an albino? Uh, no, I'm a Republican. Uh, uh, I, I once was in the albino party uh, many years ago, but I became a Republican at, at a very early age. I mean, the albino party is practically extinct. And speaking of, of extinct things, go and change your underwear. Uh, yes. Yes, this is Andy Berg from Garden Grove. Yes, Andy. Yes, I'm a teacher at Garden Grove High School. Uh, well, first of all, I want to wish you a Merry Christmas. Uh, grab that pervert out of there. Next caller, we're, you're on the air. Go ahead. Yeah, Wally. Yes. I... Thank you very much for your call. Hello, you're on the air. Next, next caller. Uh, yeah, Wally. Yes. You never said if you. Yeah, th thank you very much. For, uh, uh, for your... We have a lot of winners uh, uh, on this day. Everybody's brain is soaked. Next caller, you're on the air. Hi, um, Wally. Yes. What are you? I am. I am a Republican conservative. What are you? You certainly are not a human being. That's for sure. Let's go to the next caller. Hello, you're on the air. Hello, Wally. This is Barry Lee from Medicine. Yeah, uh, Barry Lee from where? From. Oh, well, Happy New Year to you, too, and a very Merry Christmas. Now go soak your head and flush it at the same time. Hello, you're on the air. Hi, Wally. Yes. How you doing? All right, who's this? This is Dave from Orange. Yes, Dave. You're a dick. Grab him. We got perverts. You see how stupid you are. 
Don't you understand how idiotic you are? These little 12-year-olds call up and they say something obscene and they think they're going to get on the air. Don't you know, you little numbskulls, that we, we're on 10-second delay and we push a button. You don't get on the air. You're wasting your time. But worse than that, you're wasting my time. And my time is valuable. You know how valuable my time is? Tell them, Mikey. Uh, very, very, valuable. very, very valuable. Let's call her. I don't give a darn about you wasting your stupid time. You're probably sitting there all day sucking your thumb anyway, waiting for Wally to come on the air to give you a little excitement in your life. I don't care about you, but I care about me. I'm sitting here trying to do something worthwhile for America. I think you're a great Nazi. Yeah, well, I think you are a... You always have been, you are now, and you always will be. With a capital M. Now go change your diaper and suck your thumb for the remainder of the program, like you always do. Next caller. Hello, you're on the air. Hi, Wally. Yes. Rob from Anaheim. Hello. Yeah, uh, where can I get my $10 refund for this victory pamphlet? <laughs> hey, hey, pal. Uh, come over here, and I'll give it to you personally. I'll stuff it down your throat. Next caller. Hello, you're on the air. Hello. Next caller. Hello, you're on the air. Hello. Hello, the, Wally, what's up? What's on your mind today? I think you're a faggot. So, don't bother me. So, Nest Caller. Hello, you, 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 you. Hello, Nest Caller. You're on the air. Go ahead. Hey, you, come over here and see me personally. I have a present for you a broken nose. Let's go to the Nest Caller. Hello, you're on the air. Hi, Wally. Yes. This is Robbie from Los Angeles. Hello, Robbie. Hi, did you know that the country, that the world includes many countries, including Afghanistan, Albania, Algeria, Angola, Argentina, Australia, Austria, Bahamas, Bahrain, Bangladesh, Barbados, Belgium, Belize, Benin, Bhutan, Bolivia? Yes, yes. Uh, gee, you're a, a, a brilliant lad. I, I certainly am glad you called. Thank you very much. Hello, you're on the air. Hello. You got no brain, so you don't read. Don't tell me you're reading Newsweek. Get off. We're going to read Superman. This guy's playing my own tape back to me. I don't want to hear myself. I know what I said. Hi. Yeah, who's oh. this? This is Ted from High to Beach. Hello, Ted. Yeah, I feel that um, the biggest problem with this Richard Ramirez char character is that he's an advent worshiper of Joe Pine. No, 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 no. Don't, don't, don't say a thing like that about that great American Joe Pine. That, that is not a bit humorous. Caller, you're on the air. On the first day of Christmas, my true love came to me, a partridge in a pear tree. Get off! On the second Get off. day of Christmas. Get off! Not only do you have a lousy voice, but I think you've got the words wrong. And not only that, I hate that, that Christmas song. That's one of my least favorite songs. You could have at least sung to me. That's better. Yeah, you could have sung that instead. And out. Next caller. Hello, you're on the air. Hello. Go ahead, you're on the air. Am I, Hello. Am I on the air? You're on right now. Hello? Yeah, go ahead. We're on. Oh, yeah, time. Wally, I just called to tell you. We're on 10 second delay. Don't listen to oh, your television. Okay, show. I like your show. Thank you. Uh, but uh, you need a bath? Uh, <laughs> hey, <laughs> guess what you need for Christmas? A new brain. Yours is obviously gone. Completely. Next caller, you're on the air. Hi, Wally. Yes. I'm a police officer and built something on myself. Uh, uh, what morons. What imbeciles. What idiots. Don't waste my time. Next caller, you're on the air. Wally. Yes. This is Brian in San Bernardino. What's on your mind, Brian? There's a new game out this Christmas. Well, I'm glad you told me about that, and uh, that's good news because we need some new games for Christmas. You think I'm going to give you the opportunity to say what you wanted to say? No way. Next caller, hello, you're on the air. On the fourth day of Christmas, my job came to me. Four turtle, no, no, four calling birds, no, wait a minute. Four French hens, two turtle doves, and a partridge. Get off! Get off! Ho, ho, ho! You're out of here! You idiot! Ho, ho, ho! I'm getting mad now, ho, ho!
Pretty soon I'm, I'm going to be down to my last hole. Thank you. I feel better now. Okay. Hello, hello. next caller. You're on the air. Yeah, Wally? Yes. Um, oh. hi, Wally. I, I remember one special Christmas Eve. Well, thank you. I, I, I hope you have another oh, Christmas Eve. My son. Eve. Thanks so much for calling, and a very Merry Christmas to you. Let's clear the lines of all the idiots! I'll be right back. Next caller, you're on the air. Hello, Wally? Yes. I have a question for you regarding the recent rash of earthquakes we've been having here in California. Yeah? Do you think that your impotence... Uh, yeah, oh, brother, I'll tell you. Well, you see, when you get nitwits on, on the program, it's just, hey, get off, get off. On the eighth day of Christmas, my true love came to me. Eight. Wait a minute, I know it, wait a minute. Eight. Eight. Eight's a milking. Eight maids a milking. Six. Get off. Five. Get off. Golden get off. Eight. If you don't learn this, it's eight maids a milking, you bimbo. If you don't know the words, don't sing it. Who keeps, how does she keep getting through? We have people who've been trying to get through for two years on this show, and this bimbo gets through and doesn't even know the words to that stupid song, which happens to be one of my least favorite Christmas songs. Now, don't let that idiot through again. I don't know how she gets through. Something tells me, something tells me that Gia is up to this. Something tells me Gia Gia is up to some shenanigans. I feel it in my bones. Or maybe that's just arthritis. I don't know. Let's, let's, go, to the next, let's go to the next caller. Hello, you're on the air. Hello. Yes. Uh, is this Wally George? Yeah, who's this? Uh, that's Gary from Pomona. Yes, Gary, what's on your mind today? Yeah, well, I'm a police officer. Oh, yeah. grab that, grab that pervert. He tried to get filthy on the air. Right, fuck Janet. Get off! We don't have perverts on this show. Don't you know it's Christmas time? I hope your Christmas tree burns to the ground. Ho, ho. You born this ugly? Uh, <laughs> isn't, isn't jealousy awful? Isn't jealousy something awful? Well, I'll let the poor guy get away with that. Brennan from Santa Ana. Yes, Brennan. Yes, I have a question on AIDS, and I wanted to get a victim's perspective. Oh, you are, you are so ridiculous. You, you know, I'm not even going to dignify that by getting angry, because you are obviously badly brain damaged yourself, and so I will just feel sorry for you as they lead you away and tie you down to your cot. Okay, let's go to our next caller. Hello, you're on the air. Hello, I'd like to speak to Wally George. What about? Hi, I'd like to speak to Wally George. About what? He thinks that uh, Reagan's new book will cover his uh, impotence. Yes, okay. Uh, I'll tell Wally that you called. <laughs> In the meanwhile, crawl back into your cage and close the door. Next caller, hello, you're on the air. Hello, Wally. Yes. This is Chuck Trout from Santa Ana. Hello, Chuck. Yes, I'm a currently a Los Angeles Police Department cadet. Okay. And I'm calling in regards to your impotence. You uh, get off. Get off. <laughs> Boy. Speaking of that, I have a feeling you are the one who has the problem. Check it out! Caller, hello. You're on the air. Hi, Wally. I want... Grab that, grab that pervert, grab him fast, and drag him over here so I can punch him out. Next caller, hello, you're on the air. Hello, Wally? Yes. This is Ernie from Utah. Thanks for calling, Ernie. I, 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 I didn't know that our show uh, was carried all the way in Utah, but thanks for calling, and happy new... <laughs> really? Well, there's another one. Mark that, Jeff. There's, there's another... Uh... Stupid edit because of these idiots. Hello, next caller, you're on the air. Hello, Wally? Yes. Yeah, this is Ted from Huntington Beach. And uh -huh. I'm calling about your impotence. Uh oh, jeez. Oh, you know, small things amuse small minds. And if your mind got any smaller, it would roll out of your ear. Next caller, you're on the air. Is this Wally? Yeah, who's this? This is Ivy Larson from Anaheim. Who? Ivy Larson. Ivy? Yes, that's my name. Izzy. Yes, I love you. Wait, wait. I should have known with a name like Izzy. Izzy, sweetheart, it's time that you go and put on your nail polish. Next caller, you're on the air. Speaking of small things, I think you, you also have another problem. Hello, you're on the air. Hello. Hello? Who's this? Yeah, um, this is Rich. How old are you, Rich? Um, 15. What are you calling Wally about? I want to um, ask him if his 
people on Hot Seat are real. Okay, I'll ask him. <laughs> are, Wally, are the people on Hot Seat for real? Yes, they certainly are. They are real people. They are not animated. I want you. Well, you have, I'm sorry, I'm taken. But no, they are real. Real, live, human beings. Next caller, hello, you're on the air. Well, some of them aren't too human, but they're, at least they're alive. Next caller, you're on the air, I think. <laughs> Next caller, hello, you're on the air. Hello, Wally? Yes. Yes. I want your opinion on what I really believe is a serious threat to the spread of AIDS, mainly your mouth. Oh, get, grab that. Grab that fast. We have a pervert on the phone who's trying to get filthy on Wally's All-American Show, and I won't stand for that kind of nonsense. George, go ahead. Hello, Wally? Yes. Yeah, it's all about that suicidal gang, Mota Loco, Soy Sniper, S.A. Get him off the air, you stupid idiot. Hello, nice caller. You're on the air. Hi, Wally. This is Marcel from Hate to Beach. Yes, Marcel. And I just wanted to make a comment about um, um, Je uh, Jessica Hahn. Now, the reason this lady annoys me so much is because she's famous, and she's only famous for one reason, and that's because she slept with Rebecca DeMarnie. Oh, get off. Don't, don't start. Don't start. What is happening? You, a bunch of perverts back on the line again. Don't, when are you going to want to understand that this program is not for you idiot, demented perverts to come on and waste our valuable time with a bunch of insanity? Now, get off my phone and don't bother me. Let's call her. You're on the air. Hi, this is Phil I. Novak. Yes. And, um, oh, Wally, is that toupee? I'll tell you. What time is it now? Okay, the, the first three calls on this half-hour program are made by insane idiots who should be locked up in a padded cell. This really bugs me. Now, let me have somebody sane. Hello, you're on the air. Yeah, Wally? Yes. I'd like to make a comment about your commentary about the crash. Yes. Yeah, I, I have to completely agree with you that I do think Janice is African. Oh. I'm telling you. You people are really getting under my skin. Now listen, do you think I come down and sit here to, to talk to a bunch of nitwits? I come down here to conduct an intelligent show. Now for God's sake, somebody call in with some intelligence or I'm going to sit here and do nothing but talk myself for the rest of the half hour. I can do that, you know. I got plenty of material. Now let me get a decent caller. Hello, you're on the air. Yeah, Wally. Yes. Yeah, listen, this is Bill. Yes, Bill, what's on your mind? I'm, listen, I'm, I'm cool, okay? Yeah, well, you better be cool. I'm going to bomb you out of here I into have orbit. A question. What's your question? I have a question. About what is it? About your commentary. What is it? About the plane. Yes. That was shot down. Yes. How the hell? See, I knew it. I knew it. The whole damn switchboard is filled with idiots. And you know, and there are decent people trying to get through with decent calls. That's what bugs me. Next caller, you're on the air. Hello. Hello, Wally? Yes. Yes, I'd like to make a comment about your commentary, please. No, you're not. You're off. You're off. I Next caller, hello, you're on the air. Hello. Boop, 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 boop. Okay. Should we try again? Hello? Next uh, caller. Uh, yeah, hi. Uh, Wally, uh, the, uh, the other night when you had that argument with that guy on TV and told him that you, you would throw him. What other guy? Uh, the old man. And he came over. What, what old man? Uh, it was on the hot seat when you told him you'd throw him off the air and he came and he turned the desk over on you. Yes. Uh, well, how come, you, how come you got so scared of the guy after he did that? Are you a sissy or what? No. Hey, hey. If you think I'm a sissy, uh, you little idiot, spineless wimp, come over here and meet me out in the parking lot. Have you got the guts? Have you? Of course not. You're a stinking coward who's brave on a telephone, like so many of you spineless wimps. You're so brave. You come and face me face to face, and you would faint in a quivering mass of jelly. Yes. 
Hi, this is Bobby Wheeler from Costa Mesa. Yes. Uh, also in that register today, I was reading on the front page that they talked about the AIDS scare, and they confirmed, as you have said, that the number one cause of AIDS is... Grab, grab him fast. Grab him. Bump him off. He's a pervert. From West L.A. Hi, Lamont. Oops. Yeah, get him off. Get him off. I know what I know what you're sitting on, and well, now that really tears it. Stick your head in there for a while. That's where it belongs. Next caller, hello, you're on the air. Wally, this is John from La Habra. Yes. And first of all, I want to wish you and Janice a very happy new year. Yes. And you. Want yeah. Uh, thank you very much. <laughs> Next caller, hello, you're on the air. Yeah, hi, Wally. This is Glenn from Westminster. Yes. I'd like to wish you. And your wife, very happy New Year, and I... And I Thank you very much I, for that. I have a small comment. A small... How small a comment is it? Grab him fast, you see... Oh, there you go. He's gone. You know what, pal? If you want a real shock, go look in the mirror. Man, are you ugly! Next caller, hello, you're on the air. Hello, Wally. Eric Capagna from Huntington Beach. Yes, uh, do you have anything decent to say? Yes, I do, Wally. As a country, we must show force and confront your impotence. Uh, well, okay. Three in a row. Gone. The whole house is in orbit. Hello, Wally. Yeah, who's this? This is Andy Berg from Huntington Beach. Well, what's on your mind today, Andy, I hope? <laughs> I wanted to comment on your current lobotomy. Uh, <laughs> Speaking of that, you moron, if anybody needs one in this world, it's you. Now, don't bother me. Tell me we're going to have a rash of nitwits bothering me today. Hello. Hello, Wally? Yeah, what do you want to talk about today? Yes, this is, this is uh, Lamont from West L.A. Yes, Lamont. And yes, and I'm a gay activist, and I want to know, what do you think about gay rights, honey? You're a gay activist? Don't call me, honey! You silly little perverted twerp! I say you gays have too many rights. We don't need you in America. Now go back to polishing your fingernails, you little twerp. Hello? Yeah, who's this? Oh, this is Matt. Uh, Wally. Yeah? Grab that little junior idiot. Hello, Wally. Yes, you're on the air. Who's this? Uh, Dave DeGan from Huntington Beach. Who? Dave DeGan. Okay, Dave, go ahead. Yeah, I want to comment on some of these insider traders like Ivan Boski. Who? These insider traders like Ivan Boski. Yeah? Yeah, not only are they motivated by greed, but they never even consider your impotence. Yeah, yeah, well, jeez. Don't tell me I'm in for that kind of a start, you stupid, pimple-faced pervert. Yes? Yes, I... Grab, get off. You little sickening, degrading, moronic imbecile. Next caller, you're on the air. Hello, Wally? Yes. This is Mike Mays from Chino. Is that right? Excuse me? Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure of my name, sir. I've had it my whole life. How old are you? How old? 23 now. 20? Get off my... <laughs> you're 23, then I'm 17. Get off, you little 23. Oh, do you think you can fool Wally? Think again. We have a story about a man named Jed, a poor mountaineer, barely kept his family fit. And Get off. What? Get off. Who do you think? He thinks he's a pimple-faced, perverted Jed Clampett. Yeah, no this jerks. Is golden. Get off. Get off. You know, old Ellie Mays fat. Get off my show, you idiot! I was looking at that. I'm telling you, I'm getting angry now. I'm going to come over personally to your house and punch you out. This is Jed Clint. Oh, well, I, I might as well use that for something. Uh, Beverly Hillblades is on at 6 o'clock. Obviously, he watches on our station. Next caller, you're on the air. Hello, Wally. Who's this? This is, this is Ryan from Huntington Beach. How old are you? Boy. Happy New Year. How old are you? Five. Five? How old are you? I am seven. You're seven. A little bit of heaven. Bye-bye. <laughs> Whee! He's seven. Up here, he's seven. Physically, he's 49. I mean, really. <laughs> Trust me. I, I know the type. But change your diaper, pal. It's about time. Greg Weinstein from Huntington Beach. Yes, Greg. Yeah, I just wanted to know, um, how were we supposed to know she's Hindu? Uh, get off. Don't bug me. I'm in no mood for you idiots. I want some intelligent people. 